on December 30th, 2022, I reviewed what was at the time Honor Active's brand new collection, they're timeless. Now, if you guys recall that video, between the website with some misleading information, the overall fit, it just wasn't it for me at the time. Since they were brand spanking new, I knew that they needed some tweaking. This happens with brands when they're dropping something for the first time, they don't know what the general consensus is going to be. And that is a-okay, this is how we learn. You need that general feedback in order to make little changes here and there. So fast forward one year later, here we are. We are about to talk the brand new updated timeless collection. Not just the leggings, but the bra too. They made some heavy changes. Is it for the better? Is it for the worse? We're about to find out. So I kept it very simple in today's video. I grabbed one legging, one bra in the color cool brown in my true size small. When it comes to the overall look of the timeless leggings, they kept everything very, very consistent. We have that subtle V seam in the back. Just like the OG timeless, we have that very angular waistband corset style with the two seams that run down the center. 3D rubberized logo on the back. I actually really like this color cool brown. I'm not usually a cool tone person. I'm more of a warm tone. This was all they had left to be quite frank. <laughs> they were sold out beyond belief. I was like, I guess I'm going for this cool brown. I actually really like it. It's a very pretty nude. It's not too close to skin tone, so I'm very comfortable wearing it. When holding this legging, you would never ever guess how shiny it is. Like, oh yeah, there's, it's very soft, almost brushed feeling. When you actually put it on and spread out the material, it's actually like the material changes in a way. It starts to feel very slippery very silky soft, shiny. I mean, you can see it in the footage. So if you remember the OG Timeless, when I reviewed it, I was a little bit critical about the high-waisted aspect. They had said on site that it was high-waisted. So I went into it believing that it was high-waisted. Because if you guys remember last time, the band sit so low, the point of the V seam fell below my butt crack. Oh my God. Like the top of my butt crack. So that's how I knew, I was like, uh-oh. It's not that I wanted to be nitpicky last video, I had to be. We're all about help over hype on this channel, so anything I can do to help you guys out, that is what I'm here for. And with that being said, I am very happy to see these improvements. Everything I was hoping they would improve, they did. Now these new and improved timeless leggings do say high-waisted in the title of the actual legging. So they're making it very clear off the bat, there's no confusion this time. These are in fact high-waisted and they fit so much better. So, so, so much better. It's like two different leggings, really. When moving around, the band stayed in place very well. There was no rolling. And I like the fact that it's not too compressive, so it's not bulging me out. You know Honor's really good with their length options. They have a short and they have a tall. I went with a short, of course, because I'm 5'3". I really wish more brands would do this. Please have two different lengths because not everybody's a 27 inch inseam, okay? Or a 23 inch inseam. And the best way to make everybody happy, have a couple options, okay? It's like going to Christmas dinner and you only got one dessert to choose from. What the f is this piece of So we have no top seam, no front seam as well. Now, the only thing I will nitpick, this isn't really me nitpicking, but I have to state the obvious. When wearing a thin seamless undie, you can expect to get a camel toe in here. <laughs> in here, in here. Reason being is because the way the seam rides up the glutes, it gives almost a wedgy fit. Not a straight up glute enhancing where it's like ride or die up your glute crack. It really is just more of a wedgy fit and then more relaxed up top, which is cool. But with that being said, that wedgy part seems to pull a little bit through the front. So when I was wearing thin seamless undies, I felt it a little bit. It started to become uncomfortable. I don't know about that. But when I threw on actually my favorite thick underwears to date, which I wish they would still come out with more of, is Gymshark. They had come out with some really thick seamless underwear year or two ago. And when I put them on, it was smooth sailing down here. It was very comfortable. Didn't feel any riding up. Mm. Perfect. On the website, it does say ultimate glute separation. I don't fully agree with that. I think they do a damn good job of enhancing the glutes, I do, but it's not going to necessarily highlight the entirety of the glute. It'll stop about halfway up. So right at the tip of the wedgie and where the V seam hits, just lays across nice and flat. No contour there. I would not say ultimate glute separation though. That's just going based off of the other leggings I'm used to that have real intense glute separation. <laughs> Shout out Paragon for that. What's great is I wasn't feeling 
feeling that major slip like I did with the last launch. Okay, do you remember when I took it to the gym and I was testing it out and I was like, oh my God, I tried to hike it up and just doing a few squats, it was just riding down my bum. This stayed intact pretty nicely. This fits so much better when actively working out, squatting. It doesn't shift around so much. Not to say that it's gonna stay in the same place as where I put it in the beginning of my workout. It does shift ever so slightly, but at nearly what I was experiencing a year ago, it really is like two different leggings, straight up. The old leggings would slide after every exercise. These leggings, I didn't start to see a difference until the very tail end of my workout when I was like, oh, I think they shifted ever so slightly, but it's all good. You know, that's expected. Nothing's perfect like that. These really held up nicely. I started to notice right on the thigh, little baby pilling. These fibers tend to be delicate. It even says it on the website that they are brushed. So there's a little bit of sensitivity here. Be mindful when doing certain workouts. Avoid Velcro, avoid crazy heavy weight rubbing against these. I think if you're doing anything low to moderate, you should be okay. Even great for daily walks, coffee runs, athleisure fashion, these could totally work for that. And that goes with any brushed legging. You know, if you watch my videos, I tend to avoid brushed as best as possible when it comes to actively working out in them. Not only because they're more on the delicate side, they're not the best at sweat concealing either. You can see in this overlap, it shows sweat. Other than that, it is fairly breathable. It's just gonna show sweat. And it's going to show cellulite as well. I did the tread test. Okay, where I walk the treadmill naturally. This is great for testing not only cellulite, but if the leggings slide, how the overall compression is. Definitely giving this more of a low to moderate compression. So not a ton of support, and it most definitely, for me, enhances the cellulite. Check it out. In this overlap, you will see, I actually tested these out in a nude seamless thong and a black brief. This way you could see side by side the differences, and guess what? You didn't see the black brief. Don't get it twisted, you're obviously gonna see the outline of the brief, but what we're looking at is for the color. Do we see any pigment showing through? The answer is no. Like I said before, this is a very stretchy, brushed fabric, but when actually wearing them, Something about this material being spread out tends to give more of a silky feel to it. And with that being said, I did see a little bit of wrinkling behind the knees when working out. Especially when I was walking on the treadmill, I started to notice doing my RDLs, I started noticing it behind there. Not a huge deal, I don't really care, but I am making that known just in case. My true size small, great. I wouldn't size up or down. However, if you're in between, that's when I would suggest possibly sizing up. Only reason I say that is because of this backside, running through the groin and potentially becoming uncomfortable for you. And I am well aware that they did not come out with these new updated timeless like recent recently. I know it's been quite a few months, even maybe almost going on like seven, eight months. <laughs> it has taken me a while to finally come around and finally review these. And I don't know if you guys noticed, of course you have. If you're watching this video, you're obviously a fan of Honor Active, but they're like 12 days at Christmas, all these new colors they're coming out with. They're freaking beautiful. What am I seeing? Chestnuts on an open fire. I'm seeing like new beautiful burgundies and evergreen colors. It's looking like they're really getting into the spirit of things this year. And that really excites me, obviously. Take a look at my background. Take a look at my pillow. I love this thing. Now let's talk about this bra. You remember my last video? The one and only timeless bra they came out with. It's a little more conservative, more high support. I didn't have anything really bad to say about it. I liked it. I think they did a nice job on the bra. It wasn't exactly like for me. That's not my style that I usually gravitate towards. Now, fast forward in time. Check out this sexy mama. This style right here, uh, this is my style. If there's cleavage, if there's low support, if there's a strappy, sexy back, then it's for me. Really good first impression with this bra. I overall just love the look of it. This is totally my jam. The backing is super cute, yet different. It's not something you see all the time on repeat. I'm starting to see more brands gravitating towards a cage design. I know Paragon just did that. I really loved it in their Waveland collection. And now I'm seeing it a little bit in this timeless bra where they're adding in some straps at the lower half. I think this is super stylish, very different, very chic. I do appreciate the fact that there's adjustments on this bra. But with that being said, I have it on the tightest setting and I still feel like I could have used a little more tightness, especially like right here. I feel like any lower and it really would have just kind of been sagging. So I think they could have gone a little tighter. A little more room in the adjustments would have been nice. So if we have similar measurements and you're debating on sizing up or down, I'm okay with my size small, I'm okay. If I'm in between 
though, that's when I would size down rather than up. I wouldn't size down naturally because I'm okay and comfortable with this band right here. I wouldn't want it any tighter. This is just if you're in between. But if you have bigger breasts and you believe you're gonna fill the cups out more, then size up if you're in between. It really just depends on how much you're filling out right here. A lot of bras I've been trying recently have this small band underneath. And when I do pull downs and things like that, this starts to lip under. I didn't have that problem in this bra. It stayed intact perfectly, beautifully. So they did a good job on this bra overall. Straps are very comfortable. I've been wearing this bra for a few hours now and I feel great. And there are removable bra pads. That's a plus, okay? I know I love my minimal bras like Gymshark, but they don't have pads in it. So I have to be very mindful as to when I wear them. <laughs> so if I'm gonna be wearing them in public or I know somebody's gonna drop in the studio and need something, I am not gonna wear those. This I'm okay with, I'm, I'm okay, I'm good. Overall low support, do not get it twisted. You're not gonna have a ton of support in here. Don't, don't really wanna jog in these, don't wanna jump up and down, but it's good for what I like to do, which is none of those. All right guys, see that wasn't so bad. What are we thinking about the new Timeless? I, I say new, even though it came out months ago. Now mind you, this is my first time trying their updated Timeless legging since the first edition last year. I don't know how many updates they've done in between. I'm assuming one. I know somebody might correct me. <laughs> I'm just letting you know, like I don't really keep up with Honor that much. I'm not affiliated with Honor Active. I don't uh, get their newsletters and updates, so I don't know exactly what has been changed and how often. This is just me going based off of what I'm experiencing now with their updated fit as opposed to exactly like one year ago when the Timeless first launched. So if you guys have any feedback regarding this legging whatsoever, let me know your thoughts, comment down below, of course. I'm so eager to try some of the new effortless colors they just dropped. That's obviously my favorite Honor Active legging. I'm sure it is yours too. I think they did a nice job with this Timeless legging, especially with these updates. Now it is something that I can actively see myself wearing. I would really love to see them coming out with new lines though. I know down the road, they probably will. I think they're only like three or four years old at this point. I'm going to actively keep up with trying all their new releases as long as I can grab them and they don't sell out of course. You know Honor Active, they sell out fast. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you so much for being here. I love you and I will catch you in my next video.